skin fade quite high nice and tight into the neck for that I'm going to be using my Andis US Pro Allies cordless um, now I've had a fiddle with them I've taken off the bevel blade and I've put on the fade blade just because I find it gets a little bit closer so yeah so to get me started I'm using the Andis with the Andis Magnetic Guards on the number two just to remove bulk and what I'll do is I'll take it just past the obsessible bone the op pull bone <laughs> can't ever say that word so what guard are you going in with? number two to start and why do you go in with two? to remove bulk oh, sorry, I, just <laughs> yeah I'm sorry about those so DC is a little slow. <laughs> but I find the number two the easiest grade, especially when you're doing a skin fade, because no matter how long your hair is, whether it be past the number eight or just the number four, two takes it down to like the perfect length. And then from there you can start your skin fade. Okay, so after we've gone down with this number two. I'm going to go straight to a zero on my um, surgical blade. Go straight flat to the skin. So you have to be very, very careful with this blade because it can catch the steam head down slightly. So what we're doing is we'll start from the neck. I'm going to come all the way up nice and slowly to the obstetrical bone. And just follow that round. Do you always start from the back? Yeah, always. It's just something that I've always done. Where do you where do you tend to start from? I start from the sides. A lot of I think a lot of people do it. It's nice to see how other people do it. I've yeah, I've come across all different um, all different barbers obviously when you go to shows and you watch and you learn. Yeah. And you do see I mean I see some barbers start cutting from the top and then they cut like they skin fade it afterwards. Yeah. I wouldn't even have a clue where to start with that. Yeah. Okay, right, so now I've gone to the occipital bone coming round. It's all about angles. What I'm going to do is I want to take it just an inch and follow the ear line round. And as soon as I get to the top of the ear, I want to come nice and straight just to the temple. So it creates that curvature and you don't come straight all the way around. So then you can keep a lot of the crown. The idea is, of the pompadour is to keep the top heavy and to have the crown at the back layer nice and flat, that's what you want to do. Yeah, okay. Yes, I like questions. Um, how come you don't use the brush while you use the okay. Um, Because I'm doing a skin fade, yeah. I like my, because I use a lot of like, I pull down the ear, I stretch the skin a lot. Yeah. Um, and balding would absolutely kill me. Um, when, we got, when we got taught, we got taught to always have a comb in our hands, no matter what. I know I used to go crazy when I used to see people not have combs in their hands. Yeah. But just because I'm fading, and I don't need to brush away, because his hair's quite soft, it's not like it's really thick and it's sticking. Mm -hmm. You get some customers, as you know where, and you know, obviously, where they sweat a lot. And when you're going for a skin fade, and it's a hot day, their hair just sticks. Yeah. And that's when you need a brush to get all that hair off. It's okay, Steve, you are not sweating. So. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing is, I just like to, as I say, I'm a bit grabby. And I like to just make sure that I can, yeah, I know I can stretch the skin. So now we've got rid of most of that bulk. Um, and that's completely gone. Obviously, I've still got my line that I need to blend in. I want to go down my full shavers first. These are an amazing piece of kit, by the way. All you have to do is just... Okay, nice and easy. Pushing them up. Did you put your head just down, it's fine. Brilliant, thank you. It saves all the hassle of hot towel, lovering up your customer shave in with the, um, the sort of fear of cutting them as such even though it is a nice it's a lovely treat having a, a, a 
shave fade with um, a cut but I just think this is a lot easier, it's a lot safer, it saves on blades, it saves on money. And it's an all round good piece of kit. I've got in with my Slimline Pro Allies. This here is now number two, so what I need to do now is just remove that bulk but keep this weight here. Because obviously I don't want to take it any higher than this, because that's where his pump's going to sit, you don't want that to be undercut. Whoever cut it last has done a really bad job by the way. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Cordish US Pro Allies, number one, straight down to a one. Number one, two, one. And I'm just going in about half an inch and just flicking up. Can I just say, those four chains are amazing by Andy. <laughs> okay, so we were sort of discussing off camera um, how Toasty still has the old version of the four shavers and how she, oh, she's just watched me do um, the full shave and she's absolutely amazed and she wants a pair. So if someone could be kind enough to send her a pair. She, she'll have an Amazon wish list on her, um, <laughs> on her Twitter. Hey, Green Martin Street, <laughs> There we go. If you get a pair of Andy's cordless sent to you now. You imagine like five. She'll come, yeah, she'll come in the morning and be like delivery after delivery. <laughs> Still a giveaway. So I'm following exactly the same pattern, just all the way around, coming up and around the ear again and just taking that half an inch up and then just flicking. So, two, one, pro allies, full shaver. Now to get these two lines out here, I'm going to go clip over comb. And for this here, I'm going to go with my zero grade all the way to the bottom. And just as soon as I hit it, flick it straight out. So effectively I'm not going up into the head and flicking out, I'm flicking on that line. And with my thumb here, I'm stretching the skin so it becomes taut and it makes it a lot easier to fade.
what's your um what do you think's next on trend then? Toasty? What's your what's the next trend? What's what's the winner? Winner haircut. I don't really know. She's the worst person to have on camera ever. You know, that's why the camera's not on me. <laughs> um, personally, I think a lot of people grow their hair out now. Mm. But is that just in London? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, is that? Oh, okay. Hang on, Gabe. Here's that. Here's that. Here you go. Okay, so now we've skin faded both sides. It's time to cut the top. As I was saying earlier about the pump, what I'm going to do is comb it all to the left, pick it up. I only want to be taking off about a centimetre, and I'm just going to club cut it. So I'm bringing it back, and just taking the ends off, and as I come back, I take the tiniest bit more off each time not like just a millimetre or something and then just to make sure what I'll do after so that's the middle section I go to the right section so I'll club cut this all and then when I cross check it I'll cut cross check it at just a very slight angle Show you exactly what I mean. So if I could just spin you to the side, sorry. And if I could get here, if I could get that in front of So now when I'm picking up the hair at the front, I want this front bit here to be the feature point in the hair. So this back bit here, as you can see, um, Steve's head naturally sits up slightly and then comes back down. So what I want to do is I want to take this bit here a little bit shorter, so I want to come down at a slight angle. And I'll just completely leave that fringe. So now onto Steve's beard, before I blend obviously the beard into the hair, um, I'm going to have a beard consultation because I actually haven't done that yet. So you like to keep a lot of the length of the beard? Or would you like it taken down slightly? I prefer it to be, like I don't like it really short where you can see the skin. Okay. But I like it, don't like it at the moment. Like where it's too long. It's too long. So about number three. Yeah, that's yeah, perfect. Yeah, num number three. So what we're going to do is, <laughs> like I've just said, three on the whole of the beard. Keep the moustache, I take it you don't want these cheeky bits here, or do you, do you like them to twist? No, you can, yeah, you can keep them. Keep um, them bits, it's just yeah. shorten okay. it where it's That's not fine. So shorten bits just around the nose. Um, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be doing a thing called a choke hold beard. Now, here's a little beard tutorial for you, um, of people that are learning beards. What I like to do is I like to grab my customer by the throat like that. I don't know if you can see that. Anything under that thumb, or under that finger is neck hair. All that's doing there is keeping your neck warm. Anything above that is chin hair. So that will grow downwards. Your neck hair tends to, or 90% of people grow upwards. 
So you don't really need that, it just looks messy. So what I would do is I would grab, grab my customer like that, I would make a line, and that is the perfect line just around there. And that is called a chokehold beard. I learned that off of um, Baldy and Matt Robinson when they did a whole, um, a whole tutorial on it. I think Baldy learned off of Matt and then I learned off Baldy. It's a very, very, very good technique and they all use it in their shop. Um, and if I can give a little bit back to you guys, that would be perfect. So while the hair is nice and long, I don't know where my gum is. I usually go to the right, that's why. So I'll just go just mark under my thumb. With the moustache and the sideburns, I'll use the small end of my hand to pick it up, come out at an angle, I won't go into the hair like that, I'll pick it and then come out slightly at an angle. And here's a neat little trick that I learned, um, not many people do it, it's a really cool trick. So when the beard is thick, I'll just razor that, oh sorry, fade that down to nothing. And then with this side of the clip up, instead of going up on it, I'll come down on it. So if I stretch the skin, I just come down on it. I tend to just take the top ends, top of the hair off. That blends it in beautifully. So as you guys can see where the previous hair has grown out just around here and up here and you can see where the natural sort of shape that Steve likes in his beard so from the natural shape I just like to go straight in and I'll mark it out and then from where I've marked out I just come up And then again, just come back down on it. And I'll repeat exactly the same on the other side and then what we're going to do is we're just going to ray to the face um, and we're going to we'll shave that. So you just cut. 
you see how that's now spread out? How elegant is that looking? Is that looking quite elegant? How's it feeling, C? Unreal. It's all C. Ah, it feels grand. What you think? What you think? What you think? What's from you? <laughs> Which side would you like to um, for me to shave first? Do you want a towel? <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I've got my towels. I've got my towels. I've got my towels. So as you're filming, I'm trying to shave. Go. But you just got to that side. No. Oh. <laughs> you couldn't even see his nose. It's a bit shaking, Joe. Are you kidding? Ready? Go. Go to the other side. So now we've finished the haircut, we come to the styling part, which is obviously my favourite part. I like to spend enough time on styling the hair, describing what I'm going to do to the customer, what products I'm using, so when the customer is in the chair, he doesn't then go home, shower, and, and hasn't got a clue how to do it. I always like to spend the extra 10 minutes on my customer, just letting them know how we do it, why we do it, and what's the easiest method to um, complete that look. So, I, I, as I was saying earlier, wetting this down, hell gel. Now, gel is a pre-product. People sort of might frown upon it slightly. I'm gonna use five pence piece bit, rub it into my hands, and then from front to back, just massage that into the roots and all around the hair, making sure you get all coverage, mainly through the roots. And now I'm going to blow dry that in. Just quickly. Big shout out to Chris Foster. This is my like saviour tool. It is the best brush on the market. Everyone should have one in their toolkit. It's what makes my pumps look so awesome. Thank you Chris Foster. This is awesome. Have you got one of these?
as you can see the gel as a pre-product has made that already so much oh man that looks good <laughs> so i had to literally stop myself and go that's a good haircut as you can see the pre-product gel works perfect it holds it right in the right place i take it um steve when your hair is usually blow drying once you blow dry it, it usually flops um if there is no pre-product in there yeah so i say with this um hair gel in just holds that in place feels nice and soft you can feel it if you run your fingers for it you can feel the hair is quite gristly but there is no um flakes or anything like that in there brand new so now this is in my shop the um the biggest seller all my customers who watch my videos will agree on this. It, it sells out quite quickly. The Wildcat hair clay. Let me just focus that in. So Wildcat hair clay, um, SLG Shanghai, is amazing. It gives a really strong mat hold. So I will only use probably half of that. The tiniest bit. So just the top of my finger. Rub that into my palm. Rub that all through my hair, hands. Rub it all through my hands, sorry. And then rub through the hair. Butter in both sides of the hair. It's like butter in both sides of your bread. You don't want one side dry. So what I do is I intend to put the product all the way through the back first. And then I'll come back on it. And then I'll use the white side of this comb. And I'll spin it up and over. Finish the look just to keep everything intact. I'll use Johnny's Fix Power Hold Hairspray. Cover the face. Spray the hair all the way around. And with my hands, not a comb, very, very softly, just bring them edges in. And bring it up and over. So there you have it guys, that there is my Skin Fade Pompadour. I hope you liked it, I hope you like it, sorry. If you like it, give me a subscribe, give me a like, com comment, tell me what I could have done differently, tell me what you liked about the video, what you'd like to see again, and how, and how you um, get this look with the Johnny Shop Shop product range. Hope to see you all again soon. Thank you for watching.